next chord is what's after discord.py it's got everything from selects drop downs to buttons and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate into it and how to code your own commands using it so let's get straight into it okay so here i am in my visual studio code and you might notice that i'm still using discord well we are not going to need this because we're gonna be using next code what you want to do is you just want to do install next code in your terminal and as you can see i already have it everything so i don't need to install anything special i guess and then you can just do import next chord and then from next chord.ext import commands and that's it you just import the next chord now in order to switch your la uh, whole bot over to next chord you're gonna need to do a couple things firstly get rid of all third-party discord libraries this means this slash discord dot uh, i mean discord components discord interactions whatever you have like that you could keep like this util or discord utils and like other things like that but get rid of things such as you know this slash or anything that allowed you to make slash commands buttons and selects and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make selects oh so, yeah now whatever you have in your bot that starts with a discord change it to next chord so you could just do Control F or Control D and just switch it all out so you can find it. Like over here, if I go to bot.py, uh, I just have to do Control F, Discord, and wherever it says it. So if I go here, Discord.embed, there should be next chord.embed. Just like, just like this. Next chord. This is what it should be instead of Discord. Just like that. Right, it's pretty simple. You guys can do it after you're done with that i'll come back and we could i can show you guys how you can add selects and drop downs so you guys just got rid of all third party accessories so you won't have access to i guess selects and drop downs but don't worry because i'm here and i'll show you guys how to do it so how it works in uh, next chord is you're gonna have to do and this is gonna be for all libraries okay i checked whichever one's the easiest and next chord made it the easiest to show and for you guys to do it so all it is is class drop down and then pass the next chord dot ui dot select because we're using selects now inside do def underscore underscore in it and then pass in self and open it up now make an array called options and then open that up Okay, now you should have something like this. Inside, you want to create an option for your selects. So we can do it next chord dot select option label. And this one, we're going to do what language do you use to code? So our first language here will be Python, which is what this is. If you didn't know, if you didn't, that's slightly concerning, but if you, I think you most of you guys did. And description description can be just python is cool or whatever you guys can set this to whatever you'd like you don't have to follow this strictly i didn't want to bore you guys with all the typing so i went ahead and wrote the next two you could have like 30 in here if you really wanted to i'm just having three so you can select between them and i have python job and french don't ask why i added a french but like yeah see how funny i got i am guys okay anyways now below the options where you want to add super and then like what's it called parentheses yes and then dot underscore underscore in it which is initialize and then place hold you can see this all in uh, the docs if you like if you're because i see some people comment on the video say you just store this in the docs well that's where I learned from and such. So if you want to see like other code, you could just check out the docs. They will be linked down below in the description or you can just search up next code on GitHub. It's open source by the way. And here we can do select your language. Um, 
and then add the min underscore values. Actually, let me add that. Min underscore values equals one, and then another comma saying max underscore values also equals one, and then options. So whatever the options are gonna be equals options, which is the array we created. We can change this to select options and then just change this to select options to all and it will do the same exact thing now that we have that i'm gonna go down a line and such and i'm gonna get out of this function and start another one saying async death this is gonna be an asynchronous function callback self and then we're gonna also have to add an interaction because this is classified as an interaction buttons selects uh context menu slash commits all our interactions next chord dot interaction once again we're just using this library here and then we're gonna do away interaction dot response dot send underscore message and whatever you want to send it so after they select it you can send whatever you want we're just gonna say you Close. and then because it's f-string we can just add this self dot value values and then zero so what this will do is actually no this should be a label sorry my bad and what this will do is it will look okay so self dot label so it will find this and then the first one so basically it will just select so whichever one you selected Let's say we selected Java, then it'll find the label for Java, so it says Java, and it'll just put that here. It's pretty simple. You can also change this up, so you can even add a if statement saying if self dot label uh, zero zero is like the first one, and then one is like two, and it just goes like that. Equals equals. Let's say it equals Java. You can say Returns the same thing. Await interaction dot response to send message. Java pretty cool. Not gonna lie, or something like that. So we're just gonna keep this here, and I can just show it off to you. After we have that, we're sorta done with the first class. We're gonna have to add another class. Code class drop down view and then here it's gonna be like the same thing that we added up top it's gonna be next core dot ui but instead of select it's gonna be view and then it's def initialize self every single class you're gonna have to do this so just i'm just doing that and then super in it just initializes again and I say every single class, it might not be every, but it's gonna be most. So just keep that in mind. And then add item, drop down. And then that is a function, function. So just add the parentheses at the end also. And now we can actually go on to adding our command. So whatever you have over here, so I have client, so I'm just gonna use client. Client's better than Bob, I don't know, just letting you know that. It's your opinion though. So, anyways, just do client.command. If you guys have seen my previous videos, you should just know this. Or if you're just a complete beginner, I do suggest you learn Python and watch my previous videos, or you're gonna have no idea what I'm doing. I do async dev. We're just gonna call this command lang or language for short. And then do ctx view equals drop down view, which just refers to the class up here. And then await ctx.send and this will just be up top so like when it sends it it will just send this also saying choose something i guess I got i'm not doing like full fledged if you are doing this for your bot please do it better than i did and don't like slack off like i do here you know just a word of advice but then anyways we can do view equals you guys won't believe it but it's view equals view i know Okay, yeah, but believe it or not, this is it. 
just a couple lines of code uh don't ask me for the code by the way i will block you but anyways let's test it out in discord okay so i actually sort of messed up instead of having label here it should just be values it's my fault oh uh, sorry just change that just like so now i'll see you on discord okay so here i am in discord by the way join please link down in the description it's discord.gg slash glow stick and i'm just gonna do d playing as the command was it says choose something i guess and over here it says change uh select your language this is the placeholder that i was talking about and then let's select python right it says you chose python which should be regular let's say french and then let's do java and i did do an if statement for java saying like java is cool not gonna lie so if we just click java it says java is pretty cool not gonna lie see you could use this so like let's say you have a a select for a help command you could select whatever page you want to go to so let's say we want to go to the moderation page select moderation or whatever and it displays the moderation embed these are just ideas that i just got off the top of my mind i do think that you guys can do something a lot cooler than this because you guys are a lot more um you guys have more brain cells than me i got two currently but anyways yeah that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed uh thanks for 1000 plus subscribers i have been saying that a lot but yeah it's actually a lot so yeah it's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed until next time go to go see ya can i put my balls in your jaw your